Good evening, it's Rosanna from South East London Blog. How is everyone doing? So uh, I'm here doing another live yet again and tonight I am, I am at 28 Well Hung. Uh, this is a, a restaurant in Norwood but I'm going to go inside and we're going to talk to the owner Catherine. Hi, so we're live. <laughs> All right, so let's have a sit down here. Let's get this up. So I'm here tonight with Catherine. Would you mind having the phone? Thank you. Hello. Uh, so this is Catherine Solomon from 28 Well Hung. Thanks, Claire. Um, I've come tonight uh, to try out this food menu that they've got down here um, and uh, what's really great is they're just celebrating their first year anniversary and 28 uh, Well Hung is London's first regenerative restaurant so can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, yes, I will try and be brief as we're live. So what regenerative means is to basically regenerate or repair. So it's all about in agricultural terms, it's about regenerating, repairing the soil. And in terms of being a regenerative restaurant, is um, it's being a restaurant that works with farmers and growers that work in those kind of nature ways. That it's a partnership with uh, with 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 the planet rather than all the extractive methods, which you really really see so prevalently in industrial farming. It's, it's a different way of doing it that ultimately is about reversing global warming. Uh, restoring our soils and creating a better planet and it's possible. So how did the how did the idea of the restaurant come about? So it's really been I think like for many of us who you know kind of like to think that we know a little bit about provenance yeah. and care about the environment. Yeah. We've had a street food business for nine years. Oh right. And yes. we um, we were called ladle and skillet and no one can spell ladle. <laughs> and and no L -A -D -L -E. one really L -E. E -E, yeah. Actually. <laughs> You're an editor, aren't you? <laughs> um, and we've been at the kind of the base of our business has been in South Bank Market, which yes. has been amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing, and has enabled us to do all sorts of other things like festivals and corporate events and pop up restaurants. And the one central thing that we found that we are we were known for our meat and we were known for provenance, but no one can remember our name. So I won't I won't go on about how the whole name came about and so forth, but about two and a half years ago we did a rebrand, a few things came together and but the concept that you see now has been an evolution since that, kind of since the renaming which involved yeah. going around lots of farms. In the UK. So, but, so tell us a bit about your, who your suppliers are then. So our suppliers, our main one, which was the one that we really needed to secure in order to build this brand, mm -hmm. uh, was our, is our meat supplier. So the amazing Philip Warren, um, some of you out there may know who, uh, who that is, but it's a really, it's a privilege to be part of this supply chain. Uh, the Warrens are an old farming family um, based down in Cornwall. They have 400 head of cattle on Gotham Mall. Um, Oops, and they're, just um, checking on the live, we're still there. <laughs> and, um, but they, they, they also have, um, uh, they also butchers as well. Okay. And their network of where they can't supply the meat through their own farming, they have an amazing network of other farms. They pay above market rate for the meat. They guarantee a secure and stable chain of supply, yeah. but they also insist on certain practices, which includes all their herds of suckler herds, which means the calves stay with their months for the natural length of time. Yeah. Um, okay. And their meat is phenomenal, and all their animals are native breed, and they feed on grass, which is what cows should eat. So I, I did a bit of research on the website. I found it quite interesting. So half of your menu is meat and vegetables as well yeah and I thought it was quite interesting how you say you know do you care about the planet I'm sure a lot of you um, 
watching this probably do and do you wonder that maybe you should become a vegetarian if you are concerned about the planet but I think that's a really nice um, way that you've put it on the website because mm. I think about that but I love a steak I love yes. my meat I'm not I'm, you know I, I don't even want to be vegetarian but I'm, I care about where it comes from and I think that's yeah. really important well I mean what we what the brand that emerged is very much part of uh, on uh, a very common and everyday journey which so many of us are on with should I be a vegetarian particularly yeah, being a meat based business which we've always been yeah. that was really important because I think you know we always need to check in with our ethics and it's all very well having yeah. a business but it needs to be resonant with where you're at and where things are at and, uh, and it was a few key things happened but one I need to mention Chelsea Green the best publisher, they have the, the most amazing range of books and one of them, which was a seminal moment for me, was reading Defending Beef. Um, and in that, and it's not like I was looking for a reason to carry on eating meat, but I collided with the reality of what grass-fed farming can mean in terms of reversing global warming. Um, the writer very briefly had been tasked with going around with feedlots in, uh, in, in America to basically catalogue the disaster that they were. She was um, an environmental lawyer and a vegetarian, ended up marrying a rancher and ended up really having her eyes open to the very the polar opposite of industrial farming versus grass fed farming. But the reason the book took hold for me was I think probably because she's a lawyer is it's a very it's a very neutral book there's no drama in the messaging which i think you, we see a lot of it's a very you know it's a very kind of tense discussion sometimes yeah. about whether you're vegan or vegetarian or meat eater and mm -hmm. you know absolutely it's really important that we all have an open forum to express ourselves but she did it in a way which is measured and and factual and just set us on a path which you know has brought us to our very first birthday weekend which we've just celebrated yeah so, so I was gonna say so what yeah. are your just a couple more things what are your plans for the future then so first birthday you're really young aren't you really yeah, really really young yeah. as a restaurant yeah I mean the, our biggest why is to build a platform to talk about regenerative farming as a restaurant the, well, the function I see as a restaurant is being a conduit simply between farmers and growers that are working regeneratively and customers. It's the customers yeah. that pay our wages, it's the customers that are supporting the farmers. You know, we just, as a restaurant, are an enabler and a facilitator. And But I like to think that we're doing it in a way that we're leading with the food because not everyone's interested. That's also fine. But by eating here, they're, they're, they're supporting the planet anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, and so our plans initially before, you know, before COVID was yeah. to scale scale this up and open up more restaurants. We, we're still looking at that. We are actively looking for our second site right now. But I think okay. what's, what perhaps is, is useful to have in, in the mix for us is having come from street food, you can tow us into a field and we'll, we'll knock it out of the park. Yeah, um, we're having a very similar feeling with um, yeah where we are right now in terms of the business. So yeah, it'd be great to roll out the restaurant concept, but it could be something else. It could be wholly online. It could be wholly takeaway. Great. Um, okay. I lots think, of ideas there. Yeah, lots of happening. ideas yeah. and lots of potential. Yes. And, and yeah. this time, while as awful as it's been, has also been very commissioning yeah. and trying out new things. So. That's okay, well, we wish What's you luck with it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I have one other question for you, completely mm. separate. How do you have fun? Oh! <laughs> Eat. Eat, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about everyone else, but I'm pretty much the same. But, um, and we're going to do just that. So um, thanks to Catherine Solomon. Um, this is Rosanna from South East London Blog signing out. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy Thanks, your Catherine. food. We will. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, my arm's starting to shake.